I guess 2016, what's your sense and where the money's going to go for next year? What are the client? What are your clients talking about? What are they asking of you for 2016? Um, look, next year's going to be as, as unpredictable as this year in terms of where the money goes. Um, so I'm not going to comment on that. But I think the, uh, the thing that the clients are looking at is we've got a proposition at Match about helping clients grow. And what they're looking to us to do is measure that and come up with ideas that can genuinely help them grow. So funnily enough, with Match, um, we've got now 9% of our team are analysts. Um, and that's really bringing a lot of insight that's driving a strategy to come up with some brilliant ideas to help the clients grow. Explain a little bit more about the, the, the analysts. What, what do they do and is that a new function? For How long has that function been there? Uh, the function's been building up over the last year and a half, but really escalated in the last sort of six months. Uh, it's the nature of the clients that we've got um, and, and living up to the proposition of helping clients grow. So what they're doing is basically just teasing out any insight from any of the data that we can get, and it can come from any shape and form from clients. But the important thing is not just ploughing out loads of data, it's actually then, so what? So when they sit next to the strategists and say, I found something, I think it's going to be really important to the client, but I'm not sure, the strategists come in and go, I've just found a gem of gold. And that's what then is escalating the thinking that we're doing. So literally, we've got the strategists and the analysts sitting together in harmony. And they're like oil and water. It's the, uh, it's the math men and the mad men sitting together. And are they getting on? Yeah, they are, surprisingly, strangely. And we've had some fantastic success. So you're, you're uh, aligned with the French now. Yeah. How, how are you coping with that? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's funny when I was thinking about MCN just then, that the change that their business or your business has gone through has been phenomenal. Um, I think we've gone through a, a step change, but it's for the better. I think coping with the French has been easy. I'm dealing with a Scotsman based in Singapore called Jerry. Um, but everything that they've said they would do, they've delivered. And what we're excited about is we've got some great benefits. We've got much more uh, interesting training for our team. Um, we're relocating people around the world and we're importing people from around the world. We've got some amazing tools and assets that are genuinely, genuinely useful. So this year, for 2015, has been a very exciting change. We're only six months into the, uh, the acquisition, but it all looks good. Um, I think, importantly, we haven't missed a step in our business. This year has been a phenomenal growth. The momentum we've got going into next year will just carry on. So I'm really excited about 2016. Uh, and more broadly, you've seen a lot of market presentations from media companies this, the, you know, in the last probably four weeks. Yeah. Um, how does this rate and what are your general observations about the presentations that are coming from the media sector for next year? I think all the presentations have been different this year. Um, I think what I always, and I've said it just a minute ago, I think the, uh, the MCN proposition is you always feel they're going to deliver and then you come back to the next year's presentation and they have delivered. So you've got commitment and, and kind of interest in what they're talking about for the future. The other networks are all talking about content and data and we're bringing that together. We just need to see a bit more evidence of the engine running now and really have a good look under the hood to see what they're doing. Whereas these guys, they're already delivering. Um, you mentioned content, let's go there. So there's a lot of talk about the trading and the data and, and automation. In the end, it's still about content and audiences. What do you see the make of the content line up here? And more broadly, uh, how does it fit into what you guys are thinking about? The, 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 one of the challenges you guys have or MCN have is uh, the plethora of content. So when you're smacked across the head with all that opportunity, it's quite hard to pick out the little needles in the haystack. I think the, the way that you're offering trading now across two platforms, uh, across different screens, it really, the content that is important, don't get me wrong, really important, but the granularity of your targeting combined with the content is what makes MCM very exciting.